Welcome back, Daniela Squickero and Glenn Volkers, Bluffton and Hilton Head, South Carolina. Welcome back to my Bluffton Property Lounge. Looking forward to today's discussion because it's something that comes up all the time and it is the Zestimate. So when you go onto Zillow, which we all know is absolutely the go-to for those who are starting their home search on the internet, and we may also know that that happens over 90% of the time now, so when you go onto Zillow, which is a wonderful tool, by the way, this is not a knock against Zillow at all. It is fabulous and has its place, and its place is in a large portion of the market. But there is something on Zillow's website that is called the Zestimate, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It is an estimate of your home's value given by Zillow based on algorithms that take into account things like tax records, square footage, general area, things of that nature, and they spit out a value for any given property and they call that value the Zestimate. So why do so many agents consider the Zestimate the bane of their existence? I will tell you because it is in, in fact, the CEO Spencer Raskoff's own words, a good starting point to get an idea of the value of a property, but it is not the be all end all and it is certainly not gospel. So pricing a house is a very difficult thing to do anyway without the proper tools. And the things that the Zestimate takes into account in its algorithms, which are updated by the way, so they, they are attempting to make them as, as clear cut and as accurate as possible, but the fact of the matter is they cannot take everything into account because an algorithm cannot walk through a house. It cannot look at things like specific finish levels, and especially in a very dynamic market like ours where we have a lot of second homes, we have a lot of luxury homes, Zillow itself actually on the website will even tell you that it is less likely to be very accurate in that kind of a market, which is very much like ours is. Zillow has its own inaccuracy tables to give you an idea of the fact that it is not on the mark every time. So when you look on the Zillow inaccuracy tables, one of the things that it will tell you is the median inaccuracy percentage for any given market down to the county. So in our county, which is Beaufort County, it's actually 5.4%. Now it does not tell you whether that is up or down, which means that you're looking at potentially an almost 11% price swing and you don't know which direction that's going, what they're taking into account. So when you look at a property that Zillow says is priced X, that can be an issue for both buyers and sellers because when you have a buyer looking at a property that Zillow says is worth 500, but the agent and the client know that it's worth something closer to 600, for example, the buyer is gonna fight based on this estimate and say, well, it's only worth this. Not necessarily the case. On the other hand, if it's overpriced in this estimate, what the seller will say is, why are you trying to discount my house? They'll assume it's just to get a quick sale and all of that, which of course, again, CMA from your agent is where you want to go to get accurate pricing for your house. It is not an exact science, but the fact of the matter is, there is a lot that goes into it. The things that the Zillow algorithm take into account are part of what goes into it, but is not everything. So again, remember Mr. Raskoff's words, it is a good starting point. Where you need to end up is with an agent that's experienced in your market and is experienced in pricing properties appropriately to get a quick sale at a good price for you. See you next time.